Hey guys, it's David with Cars and Code. Uh, we're going to finish up the short series on creating a uh, new application with AutoFAC on Xamarin Classic with one more quick video on um, separation of concerns. So making sure the bootstrapper is taking care of everything instead of the Android and iOS project both doing it individually, as well as getting individual platform services working on Android and iOS. So let's start it out by creating that bootstrapper that's going to be doing the work for us. So if we come to our portable class library, we can um, add a bootstrapper. So in this bootstrapper, we're going to have one method and we're going to call it build. And that method is going to return an I container that is going to be the container for AutoFAC. Now in here, this is where we can create our container builder and have it build. So if you remember in our setup class uh, in Android, we were doing a container builder equals new container builder, a cb.register module, my module, and then returning the new MVX IOC provider. So we're gonna take the container builder out of this method and move it into the bootstrapper method. Now that we have this here, in our setup class, we can just create a new bootstrapper and run this build method on it. So now we've created a bootstrapper that is running this code and we've separated our concern to one class so it uh, knows about all the bootstrapping and then all the modules. Now we could take this and run the same thing in iOS, but before we do that, let's uh, create a way to get some Android services and iOS platform specific services into the bootstrapper. So the way we're gonna do that is using a module called a mapped types module. Now, if you saw my video series on Xamarin Forms and AutoFAC, you know this is gonna be pretty much the same thing, but we're gonna run it through it here again. Uh, so first, we're going to go back to our bootstrapping, and we're going to create a mapped types module. Now this is just going to be a module, like all of our other modules. Now the difference is here, we're going to get a um, dictionary of type to type of all of the services that Android and iOS want to register. So example, for example, we'll have a service called iPlatform service, and then we'll have a platform service on Android and a platform service on iOS. The Android version would create a map types um, dictionary that has the type of iPlatform service mapped to platform service on Android. So we're gonna pass that into the constructor of this module. And if you don't really understand, just watch as we go and it'll make sense. So in our load method, we're just going to have to loop through that dictionary of map types and add them all to the module. So now we just have to pass this down through the bootstrapper from the setup class in the Android and iOS project. and we have to add it as a module. And finally, let's go to our Android project and add it to the setup.cs. So in here is we're going to actually add that to the map types. So let's create the services now. Let's add a method in here that just returns a string of the current platform. Now let's add the service to Android.
And here, let's just return Android. While we're at, we're at it, let's go ahead and add it to iOS as well. This is just going to return iOS. So now that we've done that, let's go back to our setup.cs in Android and add it as a map type. And then we just have to pass it through in the build method. And we're finished. Let's go ahead and copy this over into the iOS project. It'll be pretty much the same other than the platform service will be iOS instead of Android. Now that we've got that IOC provider in iOS and Android, it should run. So let's go ahead and run it. And the text box, when we click the button, oh, actually, we need to add it to the main view model first. So now in reset text, let's do platform service dot get platform instead of my service dot get text. So now when we hit the reset button, it should call reset text, which sets our text to platform service dot get platform. So here we've got the program and if we hit reset, it shows Android exactly like we'd expect. So now we've got AutoFAC inside of our MVVM cross Xamarin classic application. That's gonna be the end of this series. If you have any other questions on how to do anything, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll either uh, give you a little bit of insight on how to do it, or maybe I'll make a video about it. So thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time.